is Peter Kahneman outside the 20 meter line. It's almost getting to the stage where they should give him a ball of his own. It'll be a question on the quiz shows in year to come, years to come. When did Peter Kahneman last miss a free kick? Cools down, takes a deep breath. Peter Canavan, one of the great forwards of modern football or any football. Each decade in the annals of Gaelic football has produced its own outstanding stars. Tyrone's Peter Canavan is surely one of the really big names from the 90s. His game and fame are both solidly anchored on the traditional skills of football and his achievements to date are impressive. Twice captain of the county team which gained All-Ireland under 21 titles, winner of an Ulster club title with Eric Alt Cairns, scorer of 11 points in an All-Ireland senior final and the ultimate honour of being voted Footballer of the Year for 1995. In this video, Peter now reveals the secret of his remarkable successes. Move with him step by step as he demonstrates football's basic skills from pick up to kick, pass, solo, catch and score. He's assisted in the process by Anthony Gallagher, who coached Peter as a member of those All-Ireland under-21 teams and also when helping Eric Ault Cairns to two Tyrone County Championships and one provincial title. Peter and Anthony combine in making a good team and the video contains some marvellous action from podcast matches highlighting the application of all that is skillful in football. Grimshi mi holomer hit the gochraher and vishtep iluna shaw with its emphasis on skill and drill. Hello, I'm Peter Canavan and I'd like to welcome you to my first coaching video on the basic skills in Gaelic football. Down through the years, coaching in Gaelic football has been largely based on custom, with little time spent on the tactical aspects involved. However, in recent years, the role of the coach has become very prominent. It is now accepted that a more concerted effort must be made to develop coaching, and in particular the coaching of underage teams. Gone is the day that the coach will throw a ball amongst 30 to 40 underage players and let them play away. There must be a breakdown of the various skills involved and ample opportunity given for the player to improve his technique. In Gaelic football, as in all sports, the coach must be well organised. He must know what equipment will be needed to ensure that the session runs smoothly. For example, bibs, cones and the number of footballs. Being well prepared also means that the coach must have a aim or a goal for every session. A certain aspect that will improve the player. The coach must be able to communicate with the players and provide a variety of activities for them. Remember, players who get on well with the coach and who enjoy themselves are much more easily motivated. For each skill, a number of drills will be set up which will help the player to improve his technique. The coach should always analyse how a player is performing, provide feedback and most importantly, give encouragement. In this programme, we will be coaching a selection of underage players, beginning with the basic drills from under 12s, stepping up to the under 14s before moving on to more difficult drills with the under 16 group. Lads, the first skill Peter's going to demonstrate is picking the ball up in the toe. Okay, now pay, pay attention to what Peter's doing. All right, Peter. Okay, boys. First thing you do, it's important to get your body in the cracked position. So start off with the first foot alongside the ball. Okay. You bend your knees, get your two hands in front of the ball, ready to pick it up with the other foot. Okay. So knees bent. Remember, keep your eyes on the ball at all times. Pick it up, bring it to the chest, and move on. Okay. Now we'll do that once more. Keep your eyes on the ball, foot alongside the ball. Bend your knees, bend your back, two hands in front of the ball, 
pick it up, pull it to the chest, and move on. Right, two steps back, pick up. Come on. That's good, Ronnie. Hey, nice and sharp. Make it sharp. That's it. Two hands in front of the ball now. Come on. That's good. Come on. That's very good. Let's go again. Keep it moving. That's good, Paddy. That's good. That's good, William. That's it, Ronnie. Ronnie, more tight. Come on. That's it. That's good. Come on. That's it. Hey, Paddy, tight to the chest this tight. Bring it in tight. Pull it in. That's it. Pull it in, Mark. That's it. That's love. That's very good. Very good. Okay, lads, that was great. Right now, we're going to pick up the ball on the run. Same drill, pick it up, one step, set it down. Touch, it, touch his hand, then he goes. Okay, let's go. That's it, there, we're working hard now, come on. We've got it going. That's good. That's good. That's better, William. There, we've got it. Hands around that ball, you tuck it in. That ball's your god, come on. Well done, Gavin, come on. Hey, Ronnie, pick it in. That's it, nice and tight. That's it. Oh, we're flying now, boys. Come on, that's good. Good lad, William. That's it, that's, that's it. Boys, there's times in the game you're going to use your weaker foot. If it's right or left, you're going to use it. And Peter's going to show you how and why it should be done. During the game, there's going to be times when you'll not be able to pick that ball up using your stronger foot. OK, for example, Dara, if you're my opponent, we're going for this ball, I want to pick it up. This is what's going to happen. He's going to knock it away, OK? Now, if I can pick the ball up using my weaker foot, I'll be able to, to take control of the ball, OK? Ready? And I've got it, because I'm using this leg to protect myself from him getting the ball, OK? Now, away you go, lads, using your weaker foot. Go. Go, Jim. And stop, OK. Right, boys, now Peter's going to show us a technique of picking the ball up on the move. At speed. Now, concentration, right? Keep concentrating it. That's brilliant, Peter. Right. I'm back, lads. Right, boys. Let's see you go now, Mark. Go on, pick it up. Sharp. Let's go, pick it up. Pick it up. Sharp. Let's go, pick it up. That's good. Pick it up. Bring the balls back quick. Right, pick it up. That's good, boy. Good sharp pick up. Right, pick it up. Lovely. OK, boys, during the game, you'll not always have plenty of time to pick the ball up. So now we're going to pick the ball up under pressure. There's going to be an opponent alongside you when you're lifting the ball up. So, ready? Hey, that's good. Pick up, Peter. That's good. Watch Peter now. Ready, Mark? Go. Well done, Thomas. That's better. Well, John, that's good. Buddy in. Tuck that buddy in. Don't let him near the ball. Up, That's better, Mark. Yeah. Hey, lads, this here we call a tunnel ball, right? You roll the ball between the legs. You pick it up the right foot. Next time you zigzag, you pick it up the left foot. Now, Peter's going to show you how it's done at speed. It's right foot, left foot. OK, Peter, let's see how it's done. Show that. Right, left, right, left. That's good. OK, I'll see you, Park. Let's go for it. Come on. Oh, yeah, no mistakes at all. This is good. Not a mistake. Not a mistake, mate. Last man's good. Yes. 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 100%. 100%. That's good. Right, lads. Next drill. Short tunnel ball. You're going to pick it up here in the right foot. A couple of steps. Roll it through his legs. Run round. Pick it up the left foot. Come back. Set it down. Touch his hand. But call those names. Come on, louder. How many done, Porrick? Well, uh, last man up, come on. Should we push it now? Well, they're in front of you, come on, they're going to win it. Come on, they're going to win. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Home, winners.
Right boys, now we're moving on to two new skills, the hand pass and the fist pass. First of all, the hand pass. We're going to use the open hand. This is over a shorter distance. Bang. Pass the ball. Strike through the ball. Hold the hand, stays where it is. My right hand passes through it. OK, Paul? Put one foot out in front, which gives me good balance. I'm in a strong position. I'm going to pass the ball. Whereabouts do I pass it to? Why is chest? You can hold it better. It's easier caught in your chest. And you pull it into your chest, hold on to it. Hey, let's go for 10. Come on, move it. Come on, faster. Hey, come on, fast. That's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good. OK, boys. Well done. Well done. Now, this time, we're going to move on to the fist pass. OK? In this case, our fist is going to be clenched. OK? And we're going to use the muscular part of our hand to strike the ball. OK? So again, you put one foot forward. Again, aim it to your teammate's chest. And back again, into your chest. Striking through the ball, aim it for its chest. OK? For this drill, boys, we'll use a fist pass. It's over a longer distance, so step back about three yards. All right, let's go. Come on, let's begin. One, two. That's it, that's it. Keep back a bit, Mark. Keep it back a bit. Stay back, stand back a bit. That's good, William. That's better. That's better. Now we're moving it. Well, a bit more, a bit more power there. Come on, a bit more sharper. Come on, a bit more sharper. Right, lads, we're now at the shuttle fist pass, OK, Roni? Give it and go. Right, Mark? Let's go. Yeah, this is good here. One. Yes. Tight. Lovely. That's brilliant, lads. Well done. That's very good, very good, very good. That's good. And this exercise, we're going to take two skills into consideration, right? We're going to practice the pick up and then the fist pass. So, we'll move in, a good pick up, and then a fist pass, and we'll run on to the back. Ready? Come on, two more to go. Come on. Come on, two more left. Four. Come on, one more. Come on, come on, Mark. One more, come on, Galvin, one more. That's excellent, that's excellent, that's excellent. Well done, lads. That's great. This time, boys, we're going to give a fist pass to the man in the middle. He'll make a hand pass because it's over a short distance. Hand pass it back to us. We'll receive the ball and fist it on to the next man. OK, so ready? You're going short, that's better. Come on. Oh, that's very good, very good. Come on, couple more. That's lovely, Thomas. Finish off good. Finish off a good pass. OK, lads, ready to move on to the next one. That's it. That's very good. Right, this time we're moving on to the hand pass. OK? We're given the hand pass at speed. We're on the move, and the fella we're passing the ball to, he's on the move as well. So the hand pass has got to be accurate. It's got to be to the chest. OK? Ready? We'll go. That's good. That's good. That's it. OK, now hold it. Foster. Now, everybody, we're going to go the opposite direction, using our left hand. Got it? OK. Left hand only. Hold it. OK, now hold it. Hold it. This time, lads, a bit of reaction work. Going to go around it, triangle it again. If I say a change, turn, go a different direction. OK? That's good call. Let's go for it now. Go for it. Come on. Right, give me ten, right, 15 seconds. Come on. OK, boys. Again, we're going to use the fist pass and the hand pass. This time, I'll be running, giving it my right fist and giving it my left fist and running up and down. Just watch. Ready? Yes. Yes, John. Do me. Touch the cone and ready to start again. OK, so I'm on the move all the time. Fellas down there, give a good hand pass to the chest and we'll keep the drill moving. That's better, come on. Hey, two more runs, two more. Hey, come on, two more. Good, Paul, good, keep it going. Come on, and again, and again. That's it, well done.
catch, right. There's different ways of catching a ball. Uh, the ball could be bouncing. You'll have to bend down, pick it up, get your foot out in front of you, get your body behind the ball and hold on to it. There's a stomach catch, the ball's coming in lower. Again, you get your body behind it, hold on to it. Third one is in your chest, where you get it, like all uh, types of catching, you have to keep your eye on it, hold it, bring it into your chest. And the uh, final catch is when the ball's in the air, you keep your eyes on the ball, your head up, and hold on to it. Now, when you do catch a ball, no matter what type of catch it is, do you hold it out in front of you? No. What would happen if you did? Somebody would come and snap the ball away from you. So as soon as you catch the ball, you hold it in there, and will anybody be fit to knock it out? They'll not. Now, lads, we're going to go through. I'm going to demonstrate for you how to catch each ball as it comes to you, OK? So the first one is a bounce catch. Remember, eye on the ball, move in, receive it, and burst out. Next catch, stomach catch. Again, you're holding on to the ball, keeping your eye on it, keeping it into your stomach. Third catch will be the chest. It's important to hold it into your chest. If you have to jump, you jump and bring it into the chest where it's safe. The final catch, the high catch, where you get the arms up, eye on the ball, and the fingers clasped around it. Okay? Okay, low catch, go. That's it. A good hand pass back, yes. Come on, go. That's good. Well tucked in. That's good, that's good. Tuck it in. Hey, Galvin, come on. That's lovely, come on, that's lovely. Come on, quick in. That's it. Well, even faster, pack it more. Come on. That's it. Hey, stomach. That's it. Hey, stomach. That's it. Hands right again, hands right it. Good lad, well done. Stomach! Stomach! What's your bounce? A bit sharper in, come on! Stomach, Gavin! That's good, come on, it's brilliant, come on, stomach! That's it! All right, lads, we're now we're into the chest catch, right? Here we go, up! Let's take it in the chest, beautiful! Come on, climbing! Good, well taken! In the chest! That's it! I gather up in the chest! Oh, lovely. Excellent, boys. Well done. Very good. This time, we're going to run in, up, jump, and the high catch. Arms out straight, eyes fixed on the ball. OK? Away you go. That's good. Now we're starting to go. This time, Galvin. Up you go this time. That's better. Well held. Come on. Up. Well done. That's good. The final drill for the catching will involve the different types of catching that we have already done and the fist pass as well. OK, so we're going to start with the bounce catch. And fist pass. The stomach catch. And fist pass. Chest. And fist pass. High catch. To finish off. OK. And finish here. Run back around the back again. That's good. Let go. You speed up a bit. Let go. Let go! Let go! Keep pushing right through, go all the way through, come on, go! Go on, go on, go on! The chest, go on! Above the head! Well done, come on, quick, spin back! Well done, lads, that's very good. It's a lovely ball by Don Davis. Oh, Driscoll! What a goal! What a pass! And what a finish!
We're now going to move on to the kick pass, boys. Okay? Now, this skill looks very easy, but in the heat of a game, you often see people making uh, simple mistakes. Okay? With the kick pass, you hit the ball with the centre of your foot on the laces. You're, again, you're aiming for your teammate's chest. Using the two hand to drop this time. Low and hard to his chest. Okay? Some people, myself included, prefer to use a one hand to drop. When you're dropping the ball from your right hand, and aiming for your teammate's chest. Okay, so we're going to get into pairs and practice the kick pass. Right, lads, nice pass there. Let's go. Come on. Nice crisp passes. That's it, Gary. That's it, Ronnie. Right, and tuck it in. Body behind. Right, body behind the ball. Keep raising the ball. Right, switch to left foot. Switch to left. Come across. That's good. Okay, boy, just hold the ball. One point to remember when you're passing, try and not let the ball go above head height. Keep it down about chest height so it's easier to catch. The person receiving the ball wants you to be on your toes and ready in case the ball, in case it is a bad pass, you go out to the side ready to catch it. So Paul, on your toes, that's better, okay? You see, a few of us are dead on our feet, on your toes, ready to catch it. Now, let's see it. That's all right, a bit harder. Okay, let's move it down a bit. Move it back to the next yellow marker. A bit more distance. On your good foot. Right on the toes again. Come on. William, get her, come on, straighten her up. Straighten it up. All right, hold it. All right, that was good, lads. Right, now we're going to shuttle. I want the pass is sharp. I want you moving at full speed. There's no walking through this now. Full speed ahead. Give and go quick. Hey, let's see it. Come on, let's go for it. Hey, come on, sprint, sprint. Hey, sprint. Hey, sprint. Hey, sprint. That's better. Move it quick. That's good. Four. Five. That was good. Very good. OK, in this drill, we're going to use the kick pass and the hand pass together. So, person with the ball, kicks it to me, I'll give him the hand pass, catches, you kick it on to the next man. Okay, ready John? Work. Work. That's it. That's Think about it, that's good Galvin. Right Ronnie, yeah. steady up. Yes Paddy, yes. Paddy. Come quick Paddy. Come quick. There's 20 passes we haven't dropped. That's it, let's go. Last few seconds, let's go. All right, fellas, all right, all right. This time, boys, we've got a triangle. So we're going to pass the ball around the triangle. OK, we're given and run it to the next cone. Have we got it? Now, if the ball comes in on the ground, you get down, you go in and meet it, bring it to your chest, up, bang, give it to the next man. Have we got that? Now, let's go. That's brilliant. Come on, Mark. They were sprinting now. Right. Mark. That's, that's, that's good. Right, lads, we're going to throw the second ball in shortly. Be, be ready. Come on, keep it moving. Second ball is going in shortly. Well, hey, good job, that's, Give and go, that's it. Right, second ball is moving. Come on. Come on, second ball is going round it. Come on. Keep it at it, lads. Five seconds left. Come on, keep at it. Hand up, Rory. Hand up. Right. And take a breather. Right, lads, we're going to use a long kick pass using the width of the field this time. Trying to build up speed as we go along. All right. On the whistle, lads. Hey, come on, climbing. That's it, come on, cross. That's good, all right, let's pull in, come on. That's good, all right, let's pull in, come on.
Okay, lads, good. Bring it in. Now, that was very well done. That's a very difficult uh, exercise, kicking the ball a long distance across the field. But it's well worth getting in plenty of practice at that exercise because bear in mind, it only takes one good pass, one good long pass, and your team's in on, in on goal. In this drill, we're using a variety of skills. The first skill is a short kick pass to the man in the middle who hand passes the ball back and then we see a long kick pass down the middle of the field. Yes, pick it up, that's good. Hey Richard, come on. That's it Richard. Oh great, that's great, that's great there. That's it, that's it, tag it, that's good, go for it, that's good. Come on, Richard, make it. Yes. That was great. That's good, lads. That's good. Very good. I'll do it. Come on. The next skill we're going to look at is the solo run. In this skill, you tap the ball with your foot back up to your chest again. When done at speed, this can be a very difficult skill. We're now going to look at some examples of how to do the solo run and how not to do the solo run. In the solo run, boys, it's important not to get the ball above head height. You solo it up, your opponent's going to knock the ball out of your hand. It's important to keep it low, get your body over the ball, bring it into the chest. Okay, now this, this is what's going to happen if you solo the ball up in the air. Ready, Paul? We're soloing it on. When under pressure, it's important to keep the ball close to the body and hold on to it. Bend over the ball. Ready? Okay, let's get it going. Let's build the speed up. Here's your three steps. A sharp turn. Come on, speed it up. Now speed it up more. Come on, speed it up. A bit faster. Come on, faster. Come on. Let's be quicker now. Come on. Sharp turn. One, two, three. Come on. Use the steps. Right, boys, we're going to move around the square at random. When I blow a whistle, we're going to change direction. OK? Right, on the move. Round the square anywhere you want. Come on. Move around. Come on, keep moving around. <whistles> well, sharp turns. Keep it sharp. Well, keep sharp. And stop, lads. Stop where you are. Boys, in this drill, 
It's important when you're doing it. After each solo, keep your head up, look around you, see where you're going, see where the space is, and go into the space. During a game, when you make a solo, if you keep your head down, you'll not see what's ahead of you. You'll not see if some of your teammates are free. So it's important, after each solo, take your steps to look up, look around you, and move into the space. OK, let's go. Here we go again, move, keep moving, come on. Two. It's good, Dad, it's good, keep it going. Well done. This here drill takes into account the solo, the fist pass, and the pickup. It's a drill that's to be done at speed. Pass. Hand pass. And at speed. Push me. That's good. That's good. Solo. Hand pass. Hand pass, John. Good. Let's go. Touch his hand, and away you go. Go. There we go. We're flying now. Come on. Let's go for it, Gavin. Last man, let's go for it. Come on. Push it out. That's good pickup. Good fist pass. A good hand pass this time, Paddy. Go, Gavin. Go for it. Run for it. That's it. You're home now. Go on. And you're home. Good lad. Right, lads. We're going to use the same skill. Only this time, we're going to solo it now through the markers. And we get to the far end of the markers, we're going to kick the ball back and catch. So many other skills are we using there in that drill. Three, Three. Three skills. Solo. Kick and catch. Now, Peter's going to demonstrate this at full speed on the solo. Right, Peter, go. A sharp turn, good delivery, and a good catch. Get them, get them passes straightened up. Come on, keep it going. Right, head up, Gavin. That's it. Head up now. Hey, look up now, look up and deliver. Get them, get them passes straightened up. Come on, keep it going. Hey, head up, Gavin. That's it. Head up now. Hey, look up now, look up and deliver. Hey, Thomas, last one. Go for it, son. Go on. Make the good pass back. In his chest. Oh, okay, Kennedy, well done. That's good. That's good. OK, boys, in this drill, everybody's got a ball. We're going to use the solo to get from cone to cone. Take your four steps at the start, one solo, use your steps to get to the cone, back to that one, zigzag. When you get to the top, you're soloing in a straight line, back down to the bottom again. This exercise has to be done at speed. Cut them out. When you're soloing, solo up the way. Hey, solo the whole way home. Get the head up between each solo, boys. Get but, the head up. Yes, come on. Solo fast, home, come on, home yet. Come on, Mark. Hey, solo home. Use your three, four steps. Come on. Do three, four, come on. One, two, three. Come on. Keep going. Come on, keep moving, Thomas. Come on. That's good. Guys, this here is a drill. Another solo called the figure eight. Figure eight. Peter's going to run to the corner, across the middle, around the marker, down to that marker. And where does he finish? Back home. Back at home. Figure it. And Peter, want you to demonstrate this figure it at speed. Use the steps on the one side. Go. And he's across the middle now. He's coming across the middle. Now he swings right. He swings right again and speed home. All right, lads. Come on, let's speed it up a bit. Good sharp turns around the markers. Good dummy in the middle. That's it, good dummy. Push him out. That's, that's, a, that's a good one here. Keep control. Across the middle. You're heading home. And the hand pass. Yes. Good.
Kier. Still Canavan. Off shot. A magnificent point by Peter Canavan. The final skill we're going to work on is shooting. Now this can be a fun part of the game if you're good at it. It involves a lot of practice and a lot of time. The first exercise, we're going to take one step in, kick the ball over the bar using the punt kick. Hit it, laces the boot, okay? So one step forward and kick. Okay lads, first up. Good. 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 Yes. Well done, lads. Right, single lane. Now we go. Take our solo. Hit the 40 yard lane over the bar. At speed. I go. I go. 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 I go. 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 Good lads, well done. Right, this exercise was solo out to the cone. Get to the cone, we'll turn and hook the ball over the bar. So you're sideways to the goals and kick it high, hard over the bar. Ready? Next. Good, next. Has to be a speed, good shot, next. Yes. And next. Four out of four. Five out of five, da, speed. Good shot, last one. Excellent, well done boys. In this drill, the boys will solo the ball in between the cones. When they get to the 14, they're gonna shoot. Initially, they'll do it with their stronger foot and then move on to doing it with their weaker foot. I go! I go! 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 Well done, that's excellent, well done. Now left foot lads, your whole way through before the next man goes. Sig sag on the solo, go. Left foot. And go. Now steady up on your solo. Good one finished. On Roy make sure of it. Go. And go. In this shooting drill, we're going to use the hand pass, the toe tap, listen to the call from the coach to go either right or left, and then kick it over the bar. Okay. I go. Go on right, Mark, don't we? Two bounces. Go. Go on left, Thomas. Go! It's a good call. Go right, Eamon! Go! Go left, Dora! Go! Oh, fast one. Go right, Paul! Right! Good score! Go, Roy! Speed it, Roy! Go left, Roy! That's excellent, that's excellent. During the game, when you're close to the goal and at an angle, a fisted point is a good option. This is a skill that could be used more often during the game. Six, six points, come on, let's score six. Come on. Two, come on, go. Three, come on. Four. Five. 
pass it. When going for a goal, it's important to take a quick look at the position of the goalkeeper. Keep your head down, eyes on the ball, and kick it low and hard to give the goalkeeper no chance. One solo park, one solo park. Moving out quick, Richard. Right, go park, go. Right, deliver. Right, receive. Good, go. Come on, move out quick. Give it back quick. Put them lower, go. That's good. Too easy for the goalkeeper. Come on. Make the goalkeeper work. Go, go, low on the grass. Good save, keeper, go! Well, go faster! Good save, come on, go! Go! This same drill, lads. Go straight through, low ball past the goalkeeper. Only this time, there's going to be pressure on you. Now, the man with the ball. Go turn around. You fist the ball, lay it off to him. You chase him. But pressure them. Right, let's move it. Come on, big one this time. Come on, Pollock. Let's see it. Go keep it working. That's it. Right, go. That's better. Let right, go. Right, finish off the good one. Come on, finish off. Yes, that's it. Well done, boys. That is very good. That is great effort from everyone. Today we went through the basic skills involved in playing Gaelic football. Skills that you will perform every time you go out and play a game. Now, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time to master those skills. It takes practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. We certainly enjoyed making this tape, and I'm sure you'll find it relevant to both the player and the coach.